Hey, hey there, Taurus. This is Joy with Joy the World, here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, click that subscribe, baby, click it now, ring that bell. They'll notify you anytime I post new videos. Also, if you find you like the content we provide at Joy the World, share it with your peeps, your friends, your family, up the street, down the street, round the corner, through the dell, at the store, wherever. The mechanic, I don't even know who knows who needs the help of this channel. This channel is here and is provided as energy sessions unto you, timeless reads, to bring in the energy that you're needing for where you are at right now. And it works in conjunction with your soul, with, with your spirit, and it confirming and um, coming into confirmation. I don't know how to say it. It's just stigma confirm. So we just got to stay right there. Make it firm, make it firm, make it firm, Joy. And it confirms what you already know going on in your life to help bring you in with a boldness to move forward into what is that you dream and desire, Taurus. Now, that could be somebody knocking at your door, but right now it's my freezer. My ice maker goes crazy. Ring-a-ding, knocking like that. So, what I know is there's a bit of mercury showing up about communication, about connection, those type of things. It's the energy of what we're dealing with right now because calendarically we're going through um, mercury going retrograde. But irregardless of when you hear this, it, mercury always has to do, you've got, okay, those are a double. What what are you doing here? Um, about, you're talking about confirming joy. That's what we're doing right here, right now, today. Interesting. Okay, there's the pair. So interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, being able to get in alignment with communication, with communion. Um, the last channel was Aries, and they were having to do with theirs coming into alignment with Neptune for them. Um, Pisces, it was about letting the sun come into alignment with their Mercury. So let's see what's going on for you guys. And that's timeless, y'all. It doesn't it doesn't matter what a calendar says or when something happens, because that planet's always been around out there in that cosmos. Sunday's missing. And you're like, I know, Joy. I know. Something's missing. The king of pinnacles like, he, 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 he. And that could seem great. But I'm telling you, some of you, your money has been a problem for you. And not just a lack of. Some of you, it is can be the abundance of the money or the making of the money. Or maybe there's somebody like gold digging in your money. I don't even know. Maybe it's even the mindset surrounding your job, your work, whatever. There's a bit of stuff going on. Because what I was seeing when I was folding the cards and cutting them and getting them pre-shuffled before we start here is the Hierophant was coming out really trying to take that divine look into something going on. And the seven pinnacles showed up. It was showing up just like um, undermining. It was showing up being done with the old ways. It was showing up of just the drudgery and tiredness of things not working out for you. And there's some pillars going on here. Okay, there's a little bit of hard-headedness. For some of you, this is a facet of your soul and a facet of yourself. Being hard-headed, thinking things have to be done the hard way. That if you do it the, that most concrete way, that most tangible way, the way that you're certain and sure and you know is going to work, and that puts a rigidity in you, and that is kind of the bull in the china shop you're showing me. As you begin to navigate, move about, and that, that space of your mind is too small for you. They're wanting you to let yourself out into the pasture and not have to play it like like a Capricorn. Your energy is not the same. Your agility is not the same. To navigate those levels like that, it will end in your death, okay? It will end in um, negative scenarios, things like that, that, that can really put a bruise on your mind, put a, put a blot or a stamp uh, blocking the way that you're able to see. Because that's the thing, the Hierophant can only look through kind of like a monocle lens through one eye. But through one eye, we don't get depth perception. We just get perception. And depth perception is part of what allows us to know how to physically move through it. Because just like the way we see, eyesight is what objects and images are we seeing. Our vision is the understanding of how it relates to us. So you're wanting to know how it relates to you. And you're like, okay. I never know anything other than making money and filling my mouth, making my money and eating it, you know, just having it, making it and spending it. And it, it's supposed to be pleasurable, but it hasn't been for you. And that's because somehow the way you were taught or the way you were shown or the only way it has worked so far has been very limited, very constraining and, and difficult. Kind of the, some of those blocks and blots and things like that going on that hasn't left a, a good impression on you. Um, 
but that's all you knew. So thank you for asking here and wanting us to step on in that. But you're talking about a lot of it. What you're showing me here is they're not having me hold them up as much. They're like, Joy, I need you to look down. And I'm like, okay, so y'all bear with. Thank you, please. But you're talking about the braiding and the unifying of yourself along with your sun and your moon. So for some of you, they've been making recommendations this week along with this energy going on to a few others to watch. And you might check out where your moon sign, where your moon placement is, okay? And check out that read this week to get, some of them are to be continued. Some of them are an addendum or an in addition to. For you, this has a lot of cognition blocks going on that it'll illuminate for you to give a little bit of clarity and some, um, let me close that off y'all. And a little bit of that confirmation that we were talking about in the beginning to help you know, mm, now I see that I see and I know that I know. And pff, that's the neat thing about you, your massive size, your massive potential and your determination that once you know, you do go. Okay. But you don't need to be that Capricorn anymore trying to earn all the coins and there's nothing against them. I'm a Capricorn son. But you need to be able to have the pleasure that goes along with it, that steps into it and walks you into that. For some of you, check out the sign of Aries for you. You lost a part of yourself there and that could be having to do with your Chiron. Okay, and Chiron is in the, the first house right now so that we can recover ourselves and find ourselves and with Mars in the position that it is right now. We can talk about retrograde or not, but Mars says, I'm in this position because I have your back. I've got you covered so that you can focus on what's out in front of you. And if we take it uh, from that blind spot that you had before, like the Hierophant was showing us and showing me when I was moving and stirring the deck, and you can see with both eyes, it gives you the depth perception, the ability to anticipate what's coming and to see the opportunity so you can seize the opportunity. Now that's leading up. It's almost like this has been pushing up into here, even though we need to find what's missing. It seems like we're going to have to do a little bit of a dancing around, some maneuvering in order to find out what is. And I have a feeling what you're telling me, what he's telling me, is that maneuvering as you're moving about like the bull and you're not in that hemmed in mindset at the china shop. You're stretching and you're making room in yourself, room for new concepts, new conceptualizations, new understanding and development. Okay, I like that. I like that. So here we have the Prince of Wands. About you having your eye on the prize and putting your action potential, not just potential, not just action, your action potential, which is the spark, the moment of the spark, the catalyst, the connection, putting your action potential to your tree of life. For some of you, it's in, it's going to be, it's definitely going to be in one of the fire signs. Not just because it's the wands, there's a reiteration of of the dryness, of what could seem more like a desert, but same as when you look over towards the Middle East. Some of those can seem very arid and dry, and you see lots of sand and, and dry rock, but then what is there that is, is thriving and growing and flourishing, like say olive trees, um, they're ancient. They are well-rooted. They are, uh, talk about being established, and that's what you're, you're like, psh being joy established, established king of the mountain. And that doesn't mean taking others out. That doesn't mean standing on the back of others to get there. That talks about using your divine wisdom and your divine connection, your ancient knowledge, the knowing of yourself, the trusting of yourself. And this, this catalyst, this energy of these new ideas coming forward as the room is being made, remember, as we're weaving and dancing and divining through this, to be able to trust yourself again. To be able to step out and to take that bit of a risk because it's not a huge risk you're moving off of the momentum that is already coming into play and that begins to light up the solarness of your mind it gets you out of the unconscious and it brings it forward to you it it um takes things that have been there with you since birth that you may have seen as irrelevant or or you know, if you had some bullheaded headishness going on around you growing up, that it might have been kind of poo-pooed upon, like put put upon, put upon, put upon. That you're like, man, who needs that? And you stuff it in a box, ramshackle, and you put it in the back of the closet. For some of you, that's legit. Go find those things. But I can say and will say in the midst of all this, some of you, there's a Leo in your life. 
that this is pertinent to and relevant about. But for the rest of you, there's this weaving going on of your divinity and your destiny. That there's a lot of internal conversation that's been going on. Some unspoken dialogue back here that has been enacting and aligning and weaving in the tapestry of your intelligence all along through the value of your instinct without you even knowing it. You knew it, but the bull being strong and the bull having the resistance, you thought that, okay, well, that resistance, that's just part of who you are. And But once you give yourself permission to move forward and you're like, haha, that's what we're doing. That's the hangman. We're turning our world upside down. It's going to feel like this, but it's going to feel oh so good because it's actually going to get you right side up. Do you see this alignment here? Do you see the yellow going on? This is talking about your soul. See? your treasury, all that going on, the wheelhouse of your power of your permission and going up into your high heart, into your inspiration. And it's really going to green you up. It's really going to light you up and it's going to begin to get the massive planet of Jupiter moving, which is power, which is luck, which is the intuition and the understanding of yourself. But because you are so massive, you have the ability to, um, to step in time with it, that it won't get out beyond your reach is what you're telling me here. You won't get swept up and carried away. You'll just get exalted and, and uh, buoyed and lifted up by Jupiter. Check out where your Jupiter is, friend, because that, the one that is going bing, 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 and lighting up like a lottery, like a lottery buzzer, go to your Jupiter, okay, and see where that is and check out that Zodiac reading this week. To be continued, dot, 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 ellipses is what they're saying there. But that's for those of you that it's resonating with. And that begins to restore your heart chakra. It's almost like the power of your heart light went out. Like you went through a storm. And like here we had a hurricane blow on through. And some people's pilot light, pilot lights went on out, right? And you're like, oh, my pilot light. It's been so long since my pilot light. And you're like, you're still not letting us fill in what's missing. Leave it to you to fall quiet now, and you're saying step into the star. Now, for a few of you, this has to do with your feet, your grounding, your connection. But for some of you, it is Pisces. It's putting your toe in the water, loosening up the mind a little bit. Because in Pisces, there can be a bit too much water, and that could be... Um, alcohol issues and things like that at times but here it's just put your toe in it so they're talking about just loosen up let go a little and I'm not telling you to go drain I'm talking about you know that feeling that you have of just you know being able to sit back and take that deep breath and relax if you think about the connotation of what means unwinding for you could it be you know watching the sunset could it be taking a short little weekend retreat to get away is it camping in the woods and stargazing under a uh, fully dark sky what is that thing and you're saying take it again take it again but it's, it's just over there it is just over there it's not forever and ever away across the world you're talking about just over the hill and the dell you're like back to that dell i tell you friends you gotta tell somebody tell somebody about joy of the world tell me about the joy in your world leave comments down below but that starts the eternal flow of the river of life. It starts your fountain of youth. It starts the thing that catalyzes you, that really wakes you up and stimulates your cells and causes you to wake up excited, enthusiastic, and to have that momentum that often can kind of hem tar us in and keep you back because of your massiveness. But now you've synergized with Jupiter because that is very much what you're talking about going on here. You synergize with your Jupiter. It's like you know, taking something and putting a motor on it. No longer the Fred Flintstones car that you got to push with your own feet, that big ass stone car. You now have a motor and you're like, ah. you like got your feet all kicked up and you motoring along and you're like, that's right. Let something else do the work and it's not even somebody else, it's something else. But that's the power of understanding who you are in your solarness of this Joy of the World channel is there are things here in life to offer you that benefit, to give yourself the advantage, to offer yourself the advantage. Because when we give ourselves our own advantage from who and what we are in the positions of our chart, it brings us forward into this joyousness, this deliciousness that is very uh, uh, reproductive here on earth. When heaven and earth meet, meet, it begins to reproduce and it makes more than enough, plenty for everybody. And you're like, plenty for me? I'm like, yes, Taurus, plenty for you. I love that. 
I love for you to be nourished and flourishing. And that wakes you up from the things that were sitting in the deep in the dark that were too painful maybe for a moment to navigate. Now they come up, but they rise up in beauty. There's no longer pain. The pain was the suppression and the repression. But now being able to come forward and to know that you're amazing and you're divine and stepping into this new 200 years of air is going to be you having that own catalyst going on inside that the motivation moves you forward. It's motivation. That's what you're going to have on your stone car, your massive self moving forward as you synergize with Jupiter Taurus. Now under here, you're like, it's time, it's time, it's time. Okay, so the Princess of Swords is coming in to help us with that. All right, that makes, who are you talking to? Okay, that makes perfect sense. Because I was wondering why you were telling me about this, but I know Mary L. still wants to talk for you. Let me check my time. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. I see you. I see you. So, have you that partnership? Okay, let me see what we've got. Hell, it's more than the partnership. It is the partnership. To be in love and to be loved. More than friends. It's, it is definitely lovers here. We have the Lord of Wands and the Ace of Cups coming in. I was wondering, because you're like, Joy, we have to have this deck. You have to have this deck. And so the Princess of Swords is the one bringing this in. Talk about the, the power of permission. This is the softness, the receptivity, not like who, who, that type of thing. So man or woman, whoever's tuning in here, yes, I am talking to you. The princess is more of like a conversational type energy. It's being able to uh, allow that opening, that connection to occur. It's kind of like you'll ever hear me talk about having your collarbones open because when your collarbones are open, you're receptive. Your body language is open, right? So in a sense, your soul body language is open is kind of what you're saying. You're giving the nod for it, the permission for it to enter through a nod, through a look, through a glance, through a stare. And that does just mean making eyes at somebody. I'm talking about your soul here. And that occurs when you begin to look in the direction of where you're going. Look in the direction of your success, of your motivation that you got going on. Sorry, it's about that new Jupiterian energy coming in. You're like, finally, I found someone of my same capacity. Oh, the Lord of Wands. <laughs> Y'all same capacity because before it was work, work, schlep. Punch the button, stamp the clock, and yes, that's what you're saying, so I'm going to just say it like you're saying it, and now he's like, he, he, he. there's more to life, there's more to life, and the funny thing is this king of pentacles is like, finally, if they will get off of this, and they will go have fun, then I can relax, and I can take a break, and I don't have to work anymore, look at his face glowing now. <laughs> It's like, he, he, it's kind of like if, man, if they go out, like, at the, uh, cat's away the mice will play <laughs> he's like the mice he's like oh the cat is away we finally get to play we get to relax and that part of ourself the working part of yourself the determined uh the overly focused uh the determined part of yourself gets to relax and unwind a little bit and as you do that and you allow something to relax just like your muscles if it relaxes it has the full ability to contract again it actually provides more power per square inch so here you're like, ooh, now we sauce in that Ace of Cups to the forefront, to the foreground. And this this uh, Lord of Wands is coming in to divine it all, to divine it all, to mirror it, to image it from heaven down to earth. Because this is what the heavens, the cosmos desires for you. The stars are conspiring for this love to come in. And it's more than just love. It is an amazing, beautiful, intimate friendship. It's something that's going to be rewarding for our world for our planet, for others, but also for yourself. As y'all's charts align and come together, the wholeness of who they are and the, the magnificence of who you are. Remember coming into this expansive energy, into the Jupiter, into the divine uh, connection we have going on here. It changes the atmosphere of our world and it causes the world to turn. It causes the wheel to turn. It begins to activate the soul song of our earth. And I remember the earth telling me one time, it's like, Joy, when you, when you shine, when you are who you really are, that excitement, that enthusiasm, that joy, that soul song resonates down into the earth and I will send love and beauty and that life up into the feet of all the people. It's not about how many we can reach from here to here because that's not even it when I tell you to share joy of the world. It truly is so joy can reach the whole world. 
that people won't have to live in the pain or the suffering or the sorrow anymore, which often perpetuates them to share some of that pain, suffering, and sorrow with others. And I don't mean confiding. I mean, like, passing the buck, stirring up the trouble, that type of thing. And I really want us to step into this beautiful world, this world covered, colored with love, this world where there's room for everybody to be amazing, to be that whole crayon box. That's what my niece called it, crayon. You know, we're all a divine, amazing color, and that's what's coming in here. And it awakens the sauce and the spice of life. It awakens the fire and the power, the cosmic egg of that divine union in the earth, not just anymore, just heaven on earth. It's heaven in the earth, and it divines it together. And it's it's like, is that how a piston and a pump works? Okay, well, whoever's tuning in here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about that because we know about that piston and that pump. I ain't ignorant. I'm talking about like in a machine because we're talking about the movement of the earth as well and the benefit uh, to our earth collective here and how the energy of the earth is impacted because the vibration of the earth does alter and change. The axis of the earth does make changes. We don't know that, but we do now, right? And that's what it's wanting to bring on in. It brings in the loving protection. It brings in the power of the union. And the union is being able to have each other's back at all times. And not because something's coming at you. It is that loving support, the divine connection. Okay. Let me get a quick card here. I see Mary L. just waiting under there to speak. Just so with these, I got to lay them over that princess of swords. And they keep doing like, good, put us to rest, let us take a nap, let our mind rest on our determination, let us be at ease here. And it says, stand still. Ah, I saw what? What you? What you, Taurus? What you gonna tell me here? Feeling powerless, gestation, sacrifice, plans on hold, release, deep renewal, and submit. It's literally... All those other things, it's moving aside and it's saying, put those plans on hold and release. You know, the ideas and the other things that you had and you had the determination on. It's almost like there just needs, needs to be a collection here. I mean, a collecting of self, a just kind of a puddling and a pooling for a moment, a gathering of oneself is what you're saying. The gathering of oneself and releasing and discharging out of your kidneys that old, remember that thought. Uh, bull in the china shop that that making the stamp making the mold making period release that making release it that's what you're talking about here release it and with that comes the deep renewal somehow you're showing me that you connect remember this waterfall here you connect in the streams of like your gene of the energy that is born that comes from the mother and the father and is stored in your kidneys can actually come again now, they, they say that it can't, but see, you're like, that's a myth. It can. It's deep renewal. Submit. Deep renewal. Submit. I don't question here because I see it and I feel it and it starts moving all around me. And I'm like, uh-huh, straight up. Now, this one, it was always peeking out from the bottom and I didn't know what was here. But this is that to a disc. Well, what if I don't? What if I do? What if I don't? What if they love me? What if they don't? And it's like, mm-mm. You're too old for that. You're too grown for that. That's what I got to say here. Look at all this green. Look at all this Chiron. Look at all this ability and this power. And remember the Jupiter energy, the synergy going on. It's no longer a question of will it or won't it happen. It, it is. It is happening, okay? So I'd love to breathe a breath of life into this card and to awaken it. Allow your mouth, allow your heart to relax. Allow the joy to rise up. Remember that deep renewal that we were talking about here? Afford yourself the opportunity to love and be loved perfectly, divinely here on earth. And don't be miffed at my word, perfect. That means it all works out. Live in each day and each moment from that place of peace, that place of joy, that place of full love, okay? Remember that receptivity of looking in the direction with your soul, all right? And so you're telling me to pull off the top. How is that inverted? Oh, it show is... And it's upside down. They're like, come off the top. Because remember, I clean everything up before we start. And it's the ant. And they say, stop working so hard. You don't have to work for anything. What we want you to do is to tune into who you are. Tune your streams. For some of you, that was checking out that Leo reading. For others, it's definitely looking into the Pisces. Um, a few of you is Capricorn. But whatever. We're going to step on in here and allow our soul to shine. Allow the star of who we are to come forward to be known for that and that's not a bad thing as it does 
the pleasure begins to pour forth for you and therefore it affords you the generosity to share with others which enriches you in so many ways and allows this facilitation okay all right taurus thank you for sharing with us hey check back with me soon leave those comments down below i want to find out what's going on in your world i love you bye